Hello everybody, good day to you all. Today I am talking about A Wrinkle in Time, a movie directed by um, Ava DuVernay. And in the actors starring in it are um, Storm Reed, Derek McCable, um, Levi Miller, Oprah Winfrey, Reese Witherspoon, Mindy Kaling, Chris Pine, um, Gugu, um, Mabatha Ra, um, Zach Galifianakis, and Michael Pena, and many, many others to the cast. And here we pretty much follow um, Meg, who's played by Storm Reed. And she has a father, and her mother. Her father is um, Chris Pine's character, and her mother is um, Gugu's character, and they are, they they have a happy life. They're very very happy, and they're, they're both of their parents, both her parents are scientists, and her father has a theory that they can use. Um, there's a way to they they can travel to the galaxies just by using their minds. They don't need the machine, they need the technology. All they gotta use is their minds. All they gotta do is find the right frequency and give, when they get a tune in that, they can travel anywhere instantly. Now a lot of people don't believe him today, he's crazy, but he believes it, his wife believes it, and so he said he pretty much sets out to pretty much prove that, he, that this, this theory he has is true. And, and they are a loving family. They also adopted someone as well, and she got a little brother. Was adopted, and they are a nice, loving family. And then one day, Chris Pine disappears. Boom, gone. Four years and four years go by. Four years go by. And so now, Meg, who was uh, was great in school, a light, a, 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 did well, very social. Now she's very closed off, um, very suspicious of things. She doesn't want to want to associate with people anymore. She has more of an attitude now, and. She's kind of depressed, and she doesn't really she doesn't really think too highly of herself anymore, because she because 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 her father le being gone for so long, she kind of in some ways kind of blames herself. She's kind of thinking that she, maybe she wasn't good enough, or so therefore she kind of internalized that maybe she's not good enough to maybe do anything. So therefore she's not good enough to even have friends or good enough people to care about her, and so she kind of pushes everybody away because of this. And you have she has a little brother, um, Charles. Who's like the total opposite? Now he didn't grow up pretty much with his father because his father was gone when he was just a baby when they adopted him. He was he was there when they adopted him, but then he disappeared. And so he didn't he didn't four years have gone by, and so he wasn't a part of his life as much. So he's a little bit more open. He's a little more brave. He's a, he's, a, he's he's the total opposite of her. And so she's not really doing well in school anymore, and she's also getting picked on by a bully at the same time too. And so life has kind of been hard for her. And because of this, some strange people come into her life and take her on a real adventure to help her save her father. And through this, and through this, they push people to learn her her importance and, and um and that what, what she really can bring to the table and that about good and evil and light and darkness and love. I think the whole gist of the, of the movie a little bit. Now, before I get into the good, I'm going to start with the bad. Okay, here we go. The bad. Now, the humor in this movie didn't work. It, it wasn't funny. And most of all the jokes in here that they tried they try to do just fell flat. I mean, they even had, I mean, they had people in there. They had Mindy Killing in here, who's hilarious. Did not work in here. She wasn't. She was, but but the thing is though, her character wasn't supposed to be funny either. And the way she, and, what, and the thing is though, the way she talked in this picture, unless you knew who these philosophers were, and you couldn't. You couldn't it's, hard, it's really hard to connect to her as a character. And you had Jack 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 um, got up an actress in this picture as well. And it, and it was supposed to be seen. It was supposed to be funny, but it just like it just didn't work. Um, the chemistry between Meg and her brother Charles Wallace. Didn't work for me. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe they were actually were siblings, because she called him by his first and last name, which was weird to me. And everybody calls him by his first and last name. She called him by first and last name. His mom called him by first and last name. His father called him by first and last name. Everybody called this one person by the first and last. Nobody else did this. To nobody else except for him. And it made him stand out more. And and it felt. Weird and awkward. Like, this. like why are we, if your if your brother and sister, why are you talking to each other this way? It, it, it felt weird. I mean, yes, you can tell that they actually did care about each other, but then it felt like they actually were siblings. And so I couldn't quite believe they actually was actually brother and sister. I took, I took me out of the picture. And their um, 
Now, even though this movie is beautiful, there, it seems like there were certain scenes in this picture that I feel like it, 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 was, it, it was just done. This just shows special effects, and it wasn't done for an actual purpose. And so, it, 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 like, after I watched that, I said, wow, that looked pretty, but was that necessary, though? It felt like it was like this. It could have been cut out, and I wouldn't have even missed it. Like, this, like there's a scene in the trailer, if you've seen it, when they're when they riding on the back of this giant um, plant creature-like thing. And even though it was supposed to like transport them to, to a certain place, it seemed like they didn't have to do that to to, to make them get there in the first place. So I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking to myself, so why did they do it at all? And it, it feel like this a, like a, a waste of time just to show a special effect to make it look something to look pretty, but it, it wasn't even needed or necessary. And um and even though they say um they talked about Meg being good in school and everything like that, they never showed it. They never showed her love for science. They never showed her passion. They never showed her how she was before. So all you get, also all you seeing is her the after the fact of her mother. Now you saw a, a little bit of, of how happy she was with her father, but then then that but you never saw her in school. How, how well she did. You didn't see none of that stuff. It was just talked about afterwards. And I wish they showed that so you have a little bit more sympathy for her. I mean, yes, you do feel sad that her mother, uh, her father's gone, and that she's getting picked on in school. Yes. But if you if 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 you have seen her before, how happy she was then, and then see her turn to this person now, you you actually felt a little bit more for her. And but they didn't show it; they just talked about it, which was kind of messed up, for like a waste. Um, the acting performances from everybody was okay. Nobody really stood up to, to me. It made me say, "Wow, that was fantastic." I mean, um, the, the girl Storm Reed, she was fine, and. Even the boy Levi, um, Levi Miller, who played Calvin, he was great. But the but the young, the, her younger brother, Charles Wallace, played by Derek McCable, not so much. His performance wasn't that good to me, and so and he had a, a lot of scenes in here that were actually very important to the to the um, um to the to the character and help her you know, evolve and get better. And so, but watching her watching him deliver the lines was just mm, didn't work, didn't work at all. Yeah. So it's like the movie. The thing, the thing. The movie had a. Now let's move on to. Let's move on to the the good stuff. The movie had a, had a beautiful message. A beautiful message to it, that I, I did enjoy. And I, I did enjoy that. And uh, visually, this movie is beautiful. It's just that the execution, the go with the message, and the special effects just didn't work. It wasn't balanced well. So. I wanted. I, I see. I, I had a feeling about this movie that wasn't gonna be good from the start, and well, in a way, I kind of wasn't, wasn't disappointed. So, I'm not. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna say you should, you should go out and see this movie. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna re recommend it. But if you want to see it, I should, I should check it off yourself. Don't take my word for it. Hopefully, you. If you. If you enjoy it, leave comments down below. If you didn't enjoy it, leave comments down below. I, if you did enjoy, it, I like to hear your thoughts and opinions about that. And if you didn't enjoy, it, I like to hear them too. This movie was not for me. It was not for me. How they give me a grade? I'm giving it a, a C minus. Yeah. So that's pretty much all I gotta say about that. So give my channel a big old like, thumbs up, shabam, and also so hit that little bell at the bottom so you get notified every time I make a video. So like I always say in my dreams and in real life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. A peace out, a peoples. Thank <laughs> you.